while I was praying for this meeting, um, I saw a word three times. It came to my vision and I knew that the Lord wanted me to bring this word and then to use that word to bring liberty for someone. I saw the word limitation and I just shrugged it off. I kept praying and then I saw it the second time, limitation. And the third time I saw it, limitation. When God begins to emphasize something like that, he's telling you that someone is on his way to church already. And this is the embargo that the devil has placed over his life, over his destiny. Maybe someone has come here for the first time asking questions and saying, Lord, is this how my life will continue to be? I love you, but it looks like something is sitting upon my destiny. To limit means to stop people from seeing the fullness of a thing. To limit means to reduce the potential of that thing it may not mean to stop it there's a difference between limitation and stagnation stagnation means you are in one place limitation means you are not moving fast enough and if you don't move fast enough with respect to time there are some things that will not happen listen please i want you to pay attention this is the house of god and when god speaks like this it is because someone's destiny has been crawling and you need to experience the grace of God. Whether you are outside, whether you are inside, listen, when a word comes and it is for you, don't just assume. No, there, there is an attitude that you use to receive the word with. Limitations. I'm going to pray for you right now. We'll just take 10 minutes from my preaching time and let me just deal with these issues once and for all over our lives for as long as we are alive let me tell you and this anointing god has given us that which represents limitation in your life bar we must crush it to its knees i'm about to pray now and i want you to please bring those people under the anointing now that the power of god comes upon in the name of jesus every family every individual every destiny that has been tied down by altars of limitation so that you will not move forward maybe you are a mother maybe you are a father maybe you are a man of god maybe you are a businessman maybe you are coming here for the first time watching online and it looks like there are altars that have vowed that you will not move forward i stand by this mantle i have been anointed by god to declare your liberty right now may the power of god come upon you be delivered now be delivered now altars of limitation you come under arrest this moment altars of limitation you come under arrest this moment altars of limitation you come under arrest this moment in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please hear me some of you are standing not only for yourself i want to pray for families here whole families that have been tied down it looks like every altar sitting on the sitting on the glory of any family if i be sent by god i stand by this apostolic and prophetic mantle may fire fall upon that altar now May fire fall upon that altar. Release them now. Release their destinies now. Release their destinies now. Open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare. I declare my release. Every limitation, no matter how long, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. Is someone praying? Those following online, I release that anointing upon you from America to Europe to Nigeria, parts of Africa. I declare, may the anointing of the Spirit touch you right in your room, in your office, right now. I set you free. Yokes of limitation, be delivered now. The 
Every chain that has tied your hand and tied your feet. Hold on, please. Listen, we're still praying. In Acts chapter 12, watch this now. When Peter was in the prison, they tied two parts of his body. Number one, his hands. That's a symbol of your productivity. Number two, your feet. That is the symbol of your advancement. They didn't tie his mouth. They didn't tie his eyes. But they tied his hand and his feet. And the Bible says they bound him. That means to bind a man. It is not every part of him you need to tie. If you can tie his productivity and tie the basis for his advancement, that man is bound. Let me release someone by the anointing of the spirit. I declare your hands spiritually. My God, fire is coming on people's hands now. These hands that have not been released. Maybe your father's hand was tied. And all through his lifetime, he lived a miserable life. Maybe your mother's hand was tied. Some of you, the hands of your siblings. I come holding the key of David, given by the God of heaven himself. In the name of Jesus, may those chains be loose from your hands. Loose from your feet. Loose from your hands. Loose from your feet. Loose from your hands. Shapakatoskata. Loose from your feet. Man of God, I release you. It's time for your ministry to open up. I release you. Apostle, prophet, teacher, Makatosh Keteketa. Every altar sitting on your ministry. Every altar sitting on your ministry. Be released now. When Jesus was buried, it was not just enough that he was put in a tomb. The Bible said a stone was used to cover that place. So when Jesus resurrected, it was not just enough to come out to rise from the dead. That stone needed to be rolled away so he would come out. Same thing happened with Lazarus. Let me roll away any stone. When it was time for Lazarus to come back to life, let me speak to someone. Everything dead in your life, hear the word of the Lord. Talita Kumi, come alive, come alive, come alive. Every mantle, every door of favor, every opportunity that has been closed over your destiny. Everything that has died, hear the word of the Lord. Your influence, your relevance, come back to life now. Come back to life now. He says, Son of man, can these bones live again? He said, Only thou knowest. He said, Prophesy. I want to prophesy. Oh, bones can come back to life. Dead businesses can come back to life. Dead spiritual dimensions. You used to have dreams, prophetic encounters. You used to pray for hours. But now something has happened to your life. May that fire come upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Hear me. When there is an attack in your life, there are three things that you will lose. Number one, the first thing that you will lose to tell you that the devil is attacking your life is your peace. The second thing that you will lose when the devil is attacking your life is the gift of men. If you lose money, it was not an attack. It can just be a business mistake. 
But when you lose men, I assure you, it's an attack. Hmm. Hallelujah. Look at this. Every point in the life of Jesus, men and angels came to attend to him. But when he was on his way to go to the cross, men ran away from him. Only one man out of the multitudes of people he had helped to build and raise and do all of this, one walked with him and held the cross for him aside from John and his mother at the cross. So when you begin to lose your peace, number two, when you begin to lose the gift of man, it is an attack from the pit of hell. Hallelujah. The third thing that you will know as a sign that is an attack is passion. Passion for the things of God. Passion for your destiny. Passion for actualizing your goals. Nothing matters again. Your fight, the Bible says the zeal of the Lord will perform this. There is something called the zeal of the Lord. When you lose your peace, when you lose men, when you lose passion, know immediately that there is an attack. I want to declare these three things over your life before we sit down. Number one, the Bible says, now the Lord of peace himself will give you peace always and by all means. I want to prophesy that by all means dimension of peace. That means whatever it takes for your peace, in the name of Jesus, may God make it so in your life. That by all means order of peace. Enjoy it in the name of Jesus. Number two, there are some of you who have jobs, but you do not have men. Some of you have intellect, you don't have men. Some of you have churches, but you do not have men. Men are very important. Men are in many cases a sign that God is with you. I have taught you that the proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is access to the hearts of men. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call to your life the ministry of men. I call to your life the ministry of men. Enjoy the ministry of men. Enjoy divine connectors. Enjoy men of influence. Enjoy gifted men. Enjoy burden bearers in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, before you sit, let me pray for your passion. Some of you, your dreams have died because you are no longer serious about it. Everything you said you would do this year, the still. Some of you, even for ministry, you may be men and women of God, but sincerely, that zeal again, the zeal to fast, gone. Zeal for God, gone. Zeal for your goals, gone. The resilience to push towards your destiny is gone. Right now, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I'm speaking as a prophetic word for someone. Let your zeal be restored. Let your zeal be restored. Your zeal for the house of God. Your zeal for the things of God. Your zeal for the pursuit of your destiny. Be restored in the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth in one minute and receive. I declare that I receive in the name of Jesus. For those in front, I decree and declare the hand of God rests upon you. That which you have been delivered from will never return to you again. You walk in the liberty that is in Christ. Go and return with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You see... If you're a man of God here, please listen. It is very good to be excellent and organized, but it's also very important to be discerning. Because one moment, God, when God is sending people to come here, He's attentive to the need of everyone, 
even though there may seem like there are thousands of people and tens of thousands others following by way of internet let me tell you when god deals with men he deals with men corporately but he deals with men individually are we together now for the sake of one person god can wake a man of god and say make sure you suspend five minutes of your sermon until you address that person's pain this is the god that we serve so i'm um, whether you are in this auditorium or all of the overflows to the basement or outside or following by way of internet please do not allow the devil deceive you that you are so far you are beyond sight that means you don't know who god is the bible says jesus left one side of the sea the disciples almost lost their life and went to Gadara to meet only one man. Deliver that man, set him free and return back. That's how far he can go for the sake of one person. Hallelujah. So when God brings words like this, among the many things that these words reveal is the depth of his love. He lets you see and he lets you know that for your sake that when he's sending you to church you may be seated inside or seated outside and you may be wondering i don't think i count among the tens of the thousands of people around but that's not the way god works he can send a word and make it look like you are the only one in that church and address your issue and address your issue there are times you can be thinking and say, God, in my simple faith, if you are the one, talk to me about this. And the man of God can stop his sermon and address that issue because God wants to go that far to give you confidence that he is dependable. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. All right, so be seated for one minute again. We'll pray. Don't be tired of praying. Ask the Lord again to reveal his counsel to you. Go ahead. Pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Are you praying? Don't be tired. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now I want you to listen. I'm going to give a prophetic word to someone. And when I give this prophetic word, it's not a song it's coming as spirit and life for someone is a continuation of something God began to talk to you about hallelujah this is a song that God gave me many years ago but I've not been allowed to sing it while I was praying in addition to this I had that song again and I knew that it was a prophetic word I'm not a musician my own is to scatter the gates of hell and establish the purposes of God whether it's by singing whether it's by preaching all that is are we together yakare 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 yesu yache yakare listen yakare 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 yesu yache yakare Yakare, 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 Suya Che, Yakare, 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 Suya Che, Yakare. It's a prophetic word. Help them, please. This is part of my teaching. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I've returned back. This is my assignment. Yakare means it is over. Yakare means it is finished. When Jesus hung upon the cross, he said it is finished. Take it half for me, please. 
in the name of Jesus, you came to church. It's, it's a song that God put in my spirit. It's not a special number. I'm speaking to your spirit, man. Yakare, 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 Suya No matter the limitation. It's over. Surely there is an end. Dear man of God, dear businessman. Yes, we are Cheya Kare. Yes, we are Cheya Kare. Ya Kare. Ya Kare. Ya Kare. Yes, we are Cheya Kare. Listen, you see, an apostolic and a prophetic ministry is. A deeply spiritual ministry that operates very strongly by the gift of discernment let me tell you if this is all the service today and we suspend the teaching and do this it is still a successful service are we together now for some of you this night you go back home to sleep you will hear this song again it doesn't matter whether you can speak outside or not but this time around, you will not be the one singing it. You will hear it from the bowels of your spirit. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Oh, someone hear me. It looks like ministry is not opening up. Surely there is an end. Everything that has a beginning has an end. Uh, Yesu ya che ya kare Yesu ya che that sickness will not kill you i assure you cancer has an end hiv has an end fibroid has an end disappointment has an end Ya kare, ya kare, ya kare, yesu ya che ya kare, ya kare, ya kare, ya kare, yesu ya che ya kare, yesu ya che ya kare. Yes, we are in your life. Yes, we the negative seasons. Yes, we are Hallelujah. Please play the strings for me. See, the Bible says, Do not be drunk with wine. Wherein is excess? It says, but be ye filled with the Spirit. And among the many signs that you are full of the Spirit is that you will begin to speak to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Spiritual songs are not special numbers. You must know how to align your spirit. There are times that God will give you a song. That song carries an anointing. Once the anointing comes on you, the song fades. You will not even remember it again. That song was not a special number. It was a ladder to usher you into a realm.
Please don't be distracted. God is doing something tonight. For some of you, God is responding to the prayer you prayed yesterday. The prayer you prayed last week. Some of you, you have been on fasting and prayers, asking questions. God said, go to church. He said, when I came to the house of God, then understood I. We are going to sing this song one more time. Whether you can sing it or not, you just listen. It's not a special number. It's a prophetic decree to the heavens. Oh, it has come to end. When God says it is over, it means it is over. When God says it is over, it means it is over. You will sing it over your finances. You will sing it over your health condition. Listen. He said, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy of praise. So shall I be saved from my enemies. There are songs in the spirit called songs of deliverance. Are you ready? Yakare, 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 Yesu, Yeche, Yakare, Yakare. It matters who is speaking. Yes, we are carry. Jesus is more than a prophet. Yes, we are The owner of the heavens and the earth. When he speaks, it is final. When he says you are lifted, you are lifted. When he says you are blessed, you are blessed. Yes, we are carry. In your life. Yes, we are chair, Yes, we are chair, Me give my chair, Sir, Ya kare, ya kare. For a barren woman, this is your song. Yesu ya che ya kare. It's over. Yesu ya che ya kare. Over that unemployment. Yesu ya che ya kare. Listen, God is called Alpha and he's called Omega. The Bible calls him the beginning. It also calls him the end. When you watch a movie, the movie begins with all kinds of motion pictures. Then they say starring. They will list all the people. When you get to the end of the movie, you don't just know it because maybe the enemies are defeated. You see it written, the end. That means stop watching. It is over. All through my church tonight, please let this song be ringing in your spirit. 
this is the song that God has given someone for the season. Carry it to your room. War with it. Sing with it. You are not a musician. Wake up in the night. Sing with it. Mention all the things that must be over because he spoke it. Yes, we are carry. Yes, we are carry. The old season. Yes, we are carry. The old level of the anointing. Yes, we are carry. The Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Ah, This song is a revelation. I'm praying that it will enter your spirit. Yes, we are carrying. Serki a chea kare Me girma a chea kare Yesu we a chea kare Ya kare Ya kare Ya kare Yesu we a chea kare Ya kare, ya kare, ya kare, yesu ya che ya kare, ya kare, ya kare, ya kare, yesu ya che ya kare. Sarah, you will not always be barring. One day they are about to rejoice with you because the giver of children in the name of Jesus Gideon you will not always be hiding a day will come you will be the captain of a mighty army David you will not always be in the wilderness there is an anointing looking for you from a prophet Saul your donkey will not be missing forever one day it will be found and with gallancy and honor it will return back home Jesus, you will not only remain in the grave always, no. After three days, you will come back again and then be seated on the throne with honor. Man of God, hear this. This is a word for you. You may cry, but hear the word of the Lord. Father, we are people who are sensitive to your operations and you gave us the grace to move in this dimension tonight. Lord, we hear that which you are speaking and we declare by the Spirit of God and the Spirit of grace that over the lives of our global family, everything that does not represent the counsel of God in the name of Jesus, The king has spoken. It comes to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 